The other big story we're following tonight, the world mourning after a deadly attack on two houses of worship. 49 people were killed in a massacre at two different mosques in New Zealand. Investigators say the gunman opened fire, killing 40 people at Christ Church, then drove to another mosque to continue his rampage. And making this crime all the more heinous, the suspect streamed the attack live on social media as it unfolded. Tonight, officials are calling it an act of terror, but they say this particular suspect was not on anyone's radar or watch list before he launched his deadly attack. Now he's charged with murder. Meanwhile, New Zealand is getting an outpouring of support and love from leaders around the world, including President Trump. You've all been seeing what went on. It's a horrible, horrible thing. I told the prime minister that the United States is with them all the way. We tell our community, do not be afraid and do not abandon your mosques. Not today, not ever. In Chicago, hundreds heading, heeding that advice, showing up for early morning worship services to show solidarity. Meanwhile, across the country, mosques are stepping up their security. In New York, armed guards and bomb sniffing dogs were stationed outside local mosques. And here in Arizona, the attack is leaving uncertainty for many in our local Islamic community. Team 12's Antonia Mejia joins us live from a mosque in Phoenix. Antonia. Tram Mark, Friday is the main worship day for those in the Muslim community. It's a big reason why Phoenix police had extra officers out today. This is something that um, that's really tragic that uh, you see uh, police presence in front of houses of worship. Uh, that it shouldn't be like that. A heightened police presence outside of the Islamic Community Center of Phoenix following the deadly attacks at mosques in New Zealand. But unfortunately, this is these are the times that we live in. Usama Shami, president of the mosque, just wants his community to feel safe at today's worship service. <laughs> But as prayer was underway, so were thoughts of the horrific events. We're grieving for uh, the people that died in that attack. Uh, we're worried about uh, the community in Phoenix. Uh, every time something like this happens, it scares people from attending services. But those here focusing on their faith. It doesn't make me scared like to come to pray. I keep my eyes open and, and I, I, I feel for my safety, safety, but there's no fear there. That was Team 12's Antonia Mejia reporting for us.